everybody, it's Hannah here, Hannah Mindful Mother. Um, this is my second video to do with my healing process from a head injury and Crohn's flare. So I just feel so much better today and I wanted to share with you one of the techniques I use to really help me in my healing process. The first thing I do every single morning is my heart coherence work. So I breathe love into my heart and I really focus on an elevated emotion, something that makes me really, really happy. And then I feel that love go through the whole of my body and the all around me, and I connect to the love all around me as well. I really focus on that for a few minutes. And then I write down everything I love, everything. It just pours out of me, actually. Uh, always inevitably, it's I love my family so much. It's, you know, I love my children so much. I love my parents, I love my friends, I love nature, and it goes on. And then actually very specific things to that day, like I love the fact that I feel better today. I love the fact that I feel no pain. And it goes on and the list can go on, I love. Then I write down my intentions. Now my big intention through this one is to be in the best health I've ever been by Easter because I feel that I'm recovering really quickly now through this I feel it's a each day I'm getting stronger my energy levels are taking a little bit of time to get up but I really feel I'm getting stronger every day and I can feel the love every day and I feel peace in my heart every day and it's just amazing I when I recovered from Crohn the Crohn's flare last time I was able to come off a medication and I felt amazing um, however, I still, still, did still have some side effects from the flare from before. And now this time, I am determined to also heal those things that happened. Because when you have a flare, obviously you can end up with other problems. And I really believe that we can heal those things that have happened to us. If you think about it, our cells are changing all the time. It's just remarkable when you think about it. We are not the same person seven, in seven years from seven years before. We are a completely different person. Our cells have completely renewed every single one of them. So if that's the case, what we need to make sure we do is pour love, pour joy, pour happiness into those cells as they're replenishing, as they're growing, you know, as they're changing. We need to be positive. We need positive thoughts. And if that's going into our cells, then the new cells that grow are going to be healthier and stronger and just are gonna you know, bring us so much more strength and health. It's just amazing. So just remember that guys, our cells are changing all the time. So of course we can heal, of course we can. It's just amazing when you think of it like that. So then my big intention is to be the best I've ever been by Easter, like I said. And then I have my smaller intentions, which will be tomorrow I'm gonna have a good day. Tomorrow I'm gonna go to the bathroom quickly. Tomorrow I'm gonna have less pain. Things like that. And I really, you know, set those intentions. And then I write down decisions that are gonna be in line with those intentions. So it might be, I'm gonna take my probiotic every day. I'm gonna have three pints of water every day. I'm going to have my spirulina every day. Um, spirulina is an amazing, amazing algae that's full of B vitamins and uh, iron and lots of other things that are really amazing. So I will share that with you and I'll share the one I use as well because it's so lovely. <laughs> it's <coughs> excuse me, absolutely brilliant. So then that's my decision. So everything I love, my gratitude practice, then it comes to my intentions and then my decisions and every decision I make needs to be in line with my intentions. And it's just unbelievable. This practice that I do every day is so powerful. It starts your day in the right way. It starts your day knowing how you want to be, how you want to act. And honestly, it transforms you as a person because you've started with this positivity and it stays with you for the whole day. And then, you know, you then do your meditation that evening, then through the night, and then you wake up feeling positive and then you do that practice again and it, it continues. And honestly, it's, it's really quite incredible, the power. So please, give it a go. So it's gratitude practice, then write down your intentions, and make sure all your decisions are in line with those intentions. And then the last thing I want to share with you today is that if you want to change 
anything about yourself. If you want to change your health, you want to be healthier and you want to be better and you want to recover from an illness or a flare or whatever it is, you need to change what you do. You need to become a different person. Now, one really great technique that I find that helps me with this as well is as well as doing all my mental work, is actually literally making sure that every day to me is new. Every day is a joy. I'm excited about the day ahead. And one thing I find that really helps me do this is deciding to have a fantastic breakfast. So yesterday I went to the shop, a completely vegan shop, amazing. So we got some granola, beautiful granola that wasn't too sugary actually, which was good because you don't want to have too much sugar. As a chronic sufferer, don't have too much sugar because it's remember it's inflammatory. Um, and then I got some vegan croissants, which were beautiful and really, really nice, really nice. And um, remember, you can have sugar-free jam with that. Although also we did have my mum's homemade jam, which was very delicious. And then we also had blueberries and bananas and orange juice and you know dairy-free milk. And it was just and I had lovely coffee made with you know that. that um, lovely oat milk um, and if you get the barista edition it's beautiful because it really froths up <laughs> just like a proper latte or something so it's just amazing and honestly starting your day with your family and having a really special breakfast just sets you up and everyone else up so well it's first of all you're getting really great nutrition secondly you're just you're positive in the way you are you're chatting you're being together and you're enjoying the process of having your breakfast. I just love it. I just found this so incredibly powerful. Again, my powerful word is I'm using a lot today, but I really believe it. So many of these things really can transform your life. And just simply that, the night before then I get really excited about the breakfast we're gonna have the next day. And when I wake up, I put it all out on the table and everyone's really excited because it's a little bit different from what we potentially had the day before. And it's just, you know, my son left the house this morning saying, I feel really positive today, mum. My, my second son then did some brilliant maths on the table, some brilliant quarter practice and drum practice. And my daughter is, is playing happily and was really, I think she actually had a, a second or third bowl of granola today. So she was very excited about it as well. And it really makes a huge difference. So honestly, make sure that you bring something new into your life every day, every day. No day should be mundane. No day should just be the ordinary, every day, every single day is special. Your life is worth that. You're an incredible person. I really believe, you know, I'm an incredible person and my family are incredible and I want to make every day special. So I find joy in the littlest of things, whether it's having a great breakfast together, whether it's, you know, cooking together, going for a lovely walk together, but seriously just bring, do, some, do something new, cook something new, bring something new into your life and if you're changing something each day, then you are changing as a person as well. So it means you are becoming a new person and that new person is healthier, happier and stronger. So I'm sending so much love and positivity, guys. If my videos and meditations are helping you, please do subscribe to my channel and I will post a, another video soon to do with my healing journey and also I'm going to be posting a video very soon to do with bringing the lights from inside you all through your body and all around you and then setting your attention into that light which is a great, again a very, shall I use it again, powerful meditation. See you soon guys, bye bye.